Hello students, welcome to Writer's Workshop. We've gotten back to working on our teaching books and since yesterday we've been talking about how to add introductions to our teaching books. An introduction is something that hooks the reader and makes readers want to read your book. We've talked about how an introduction can start with a question. It can start with action. It could start with a story or a big idea. I think the most important thing for you to remember is starting with a question or something full of action that will get a reader interested. Today, I'm going to show you some student examples of introductions. First, we have an example from a book all about weather, all about weather. So if I look at the picture, I can see this says weather and there's different kinds of weather, rain, sun, clouds, lightning, snow. Here we go with the introduction. What is hot? What is wet? What is snowy? The weather. Today I am going to teach you about the weather. So notice this student starts with three questions and then tells the reader what they're going to learn about. They're going to learn about the weather. This book is all about owls. Let's take a look at the introduction. Okay, so I see a drawing of an owl with some labels, big eyes, sharp claws, mouse, Let's see what the person wrote. What has sharp claws? What eats mice? What has big eyes? What hoots? An owl. So this introduction is just a big list of questions. This really reminds me of some of the introductions in the National Geographic books we've read. Here's another one about, from another book about, Hold on, let me get the cover for you. This is also all about owls. And the introduction, oh, let's look at the picture first. There's a little owl making some sound. Ooh, here's some speech bubbles. Eek! What? Boo! So it looks like the owl is scaring the mouse. Over here, here are some word definitions, right? Like some word bites or main words, talons. Hoot, scoot, talons are sharp claws on owl's feet. Okay, let's read the introduction. What has sharp talons? What gobbles up mice? What lives in trees? What hoot? Yeah, you scared me. Owl. So this student had some questions, and they also tried to make it a little funny. I have two more examples to show you, or maybe three. So this is a book all about plants that one student wrote. And in their introduction, which they labeled introduction, it looks like there's a picture of different plants, parts of a plant, my first plant. And they wrote in their introduction, you will see, da, da, da. Ooh, that's to get us excited about what we're going to see in the book, different kinds of plants, parts of a plant, and a small moment called my first plant. Oh, wow. So this student also put a little story in their book. But again, this student didn't use questions for the introduction. Instead, this student told the reader what they will see or what they will learn in the book. I have two more examples. And I don't have the covers for these books, but I think we can still enjoy the introductions. This is from a book about jaguars. What eats caimans? What can crush the shell of a, tor of a turtle? What is more vicious than a caiman? A uh, dun, 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 jaguar. So this has some questions, but also the questions have kind of some action, right? Crushing shells, more vicious than a caiman, right? That's a very action-packed introduction. And finally, this is from a book about falcons. Up at the top, we can see a falcon drawing. And, oh, there's a cheetah. 
Wah, I'm losing. What dives super fast? What flies straight faster than a cheetah can run? What eats its prey? It's a falcon. Okay, oh, I get why there was a cheetah there. It's because the falcon can go faster than a cheetah. Um, anyway, but again, it's got questions and it's all action packed. So again, I want you today when you go back to your writing to think, how can you add an introduction? And remember, when you add an introduction, you're gonna have to go to the work of taking your book apart, get a staple remover, just like I did. Write your new introduction on a new page and then stick it in your book and restaple it. And remember, you could start with a question, start with some action. Off to your writing.